everybody, I'm Shanli Lisa. Today I'm going to show you something new. As you can see on the slides, I will get Pepsi as my example. Um, let me give you a brief introduction about Pepsi first. Um, it was formed in 1965 and um, has expanded to um, a, a broad range of food and beverage area since then. And it is an American multinational company. In 2012, Pepsi uh, uh, do business in more than 200 countries and it became the second largest food and beverage business in the world and in North America it became the largest one. Okay, let's turn to the profit margin. It is one of the uh, ratios we learned in class a few days ago. Profit margin is an indicator of a company's pri uh, pricing strategy and from this ratio you can see how well the company controls costs. Profit margin equals uh, net income divided by sales. Okay, this is an um, income statement for Pepsi in 2011. Um, I computed the profit margin. In 2009, it is 13.75%. In 2010, it's 10.93%. In 2011, it decreased to 9.69%. Uh, so most people will conclude that um, the profit margin decreased because uh, Pepsi did not uh, operate very efficiently. That means they, they, they cannot control their costs. Is that the real truth? Well, um, let's consider cost of goods sold as the only factor. Gross, pro uh, gross profit equals net revenue minus cost of goods sold. Gross profit margin equals gross profit uh, divided by net revenue. In 2009, in 2009, the gross profit margin is 53.5%. In 2010, it is 54.05%. And in 2011, it is 52.49%. So as you can see, the ratio is around 53%. So maybe that is not a factor that affects the uh, profit margin. Um, let's go back to the income statement again. As you can see, the numbers in red. Salary in general and administrative expenses is uh, is increasing, and the amortization item is also increasing. Um, for bottling equity income, it increased uh, from three hundred fifty uh, sixty five in two thousand nine to seven hundred thirty five in two thousand ten, but that's now in two thousand eleven. What happened? The news can support here. In August 2009, Pepsi made a seven billion offer to acquire the two largest bottler of its products, and in 2010, uh, the acquisition was completed. That's why that's why you can see the uh, bottling equity income keep increased from 2009 and to uh, to 2010, but that's not in 2011. So. Um, the company with a low profit margin this year than previous years does not always mean the company did not uh, operate very efficiently, but maybe because of expanding uh, mergers and, and acquisition. So please take all the factors into consideration and don't make mistakes. That's all. Thanks for, thanks for your listening.